46's Derek Dallinger is live at Novant Presbyterian tonight. And Derek, you had a chance to talk with the county health director about the strain being put on the system here with all the COVID cases. Yes, and that strain on the system is something that, uh, well, that's been stressed for a while by health experts. That's part of the reason why we went into lockdown. That's part of the reason why we've had these phased reopenings. And it's really just to uh, avoid this overwhelming surge that it will be coming to hospitals such as Novant Presbyterian. And that's also part of the reason why those same health experts are saying that if you do have any plans coming up for New Year's Eve, you do need to take a very close look at them. If you look at what we've experienced over the last couple of holidays, um, specifically Halloween and then Thanksgiving, the expectation is that we are going to see increased numbers over the next couple of weeks. It's a stark prediction from Mecklenburg County Health Director Gibby Harris. She says we have not seen the effects of Christmas just yet, and with some likely taking in New Year's Eve celebrations, it's going to be a while before we know how bad it actually is. That is a problem, Harris says, health officials and hospitals have been trying to factor in for months. Months that have hit a breaking point. We have had operations going seven days a week since March with, with our staff. And um, most, most people are working at least six days a week. Um, and again, since March. And that's really tough. And that work has continued into the hospitals, where conference rooms and cafeterias have been turned into spaces for hospital beds. The problem now is not the lack of space. It's with having enough nurses. Fox 46 has been telling you for weeks about the burnout nurses are facing. I think there's an incredible amount of stress that is being taken on the shoulders right now among a lot of the nursing staff uh, simply because of this nursing shortage. A shortage in staff taking on extra shifts and all to battle COVID-19. Harris says even with the vaccine rollout, those planning their New Year's celebrations need to think about how differently they can do it. This is one New Year's Eve in your life and in the lives of your family members and the people that you love. Now, Harris also talked to us about some contact tracing issues and mentioned that just before Christmas, there was a COVID-19 testing backlog of about seven to eight days. It was taking that long to get results, and that made tracing, uh, contact tracing downright near impossible. She told us that they are right now focusing their efforts and refocusing their efforts on the big major areas, specifically schools, as well as long-term facilities, child care centers, and employers because of the high case counts they are seeing right now. They are overwhelmed that they just want to focus on those priority groups. Well, I have outside Novant Presbyterian. Derek Dellinger, Fox 46. Yeah, Derek